Good morning, everyone. Morning. So we are here at Cuyuna State Recreation Area, and we are kayaking here on the Mine Pit Lakes, and we are heading out here on Pennington Mine Lake. We've never kayaked here, so we're really excited to get out on the water. It's a beautiful day. Waters are calm. Sunshine. And it's yeah, sunshine. Super clear. It's going to be clear because you can see clarity of 40 feet in these lakes. So we're so excited to check this out. So ready to do some kayaking? I'm ready. Let's All right, go. let's go. You guys, we just got here on the water. Wow, we are lucky for this day. So, if you are wondering where the Cuyuna Recreation Area is, it's actually up here in Ironton, Crosby, Minnesota. So, they have tons of lakes up here that are old mining pits, and just over the years, they've been filled with water, and now they're spring fed lakes. So you can go fishing. Uh, Pennington Mine Lake here that we're kayaking on, you can fish for trout, they, but you have to have the trout stamp, of course, and whatnot, but that's popular. And then Portsmouth Lake is another lake up here, and that is actually the deepest lake here. I think it's like 450 feet deep, and it's also the deepest lake in Minnesota, so it's kind of crazy. So yeah, we're excited to be on the water. Wow, there's like all these rocks and then right here, I hope you can see this, there's tons of sunfish down there. It's all like rock, they're just hanging. <laughs> wow, this is way cool. There's some downed trees. Wow, that's crazy. What'd you find? A down tree? Oh my god, another one. There's a tree right under you. I don't know. This is like a little like underwater aquarium. Oh my goodness, all the fish, they're just like everywhere. So many weeds, but it's like clear. We just saw a turtle come by, and but he was real quick. He was gone before we could get them on camera. <laughs> wow. A lot of people paddleboarding, so yeah, that's another thing. The cool thing about these lakes up here is they're very narrow and kind of like secluded, so I don't think it gets too windy on these lakes. I mean, would you say? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, down, yeah, it's kind of like set down, and so I think it's, it's nice. That's like why it's nice for kayaking and like paddleboarding and just, you know, those types of water sports, because it's so just, it's calm. So, so cool. And they don't let jet skis and big boats on. Yeah. They have limits on what you can Yep, they have limits on all like jet skis and the big boats and stuff. So that's nice too. You don't have to worry about, you know, all that activity. So it's very relaxing up here. Wow. Way cool. Another really cool thing that people do when up here in these lakes, they go scuba diving because it's such good water clarity up here, you can go scuba diving. So that would be awesome. And I was just thinking, we could have even went like snorkeling out here. <laughs> That'd be fun. Today is August 23rd as we are doing this paddle. So it's getting towards the end of summer. We don't have too many weekends left of kayaking, but I'm gonna try and push it as far as we can. <laughs> Falcon here circling. They say this area here, they call this the mini boundary waters, <laughs> which is kind of cool. We've, we've kayaked the boundary waters. We've spent a lot of time up there. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So if you, if you want a mini escape, the boundary waters. I guess this is this is your spot. <laughs> so pretty. It's literally like a little aquarium. It's just crazy. All the fish, and the water. It's like this really pretty blue green water. That's stunning. 
what's a cool thing about Penanhum Mayan Lake is that it actually connects to like other lakes. So there's this really cool bridge you go under to get to the other lake. It's towards the end of the lake once you kayak the entire uh, lake from the access, which it's a short paddle, so it's nothing crazy. But look at this, look at this cool bridge you go under. So we just crossed onto the chain of lakes here and now we're on another lake. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> and it just keeps going. So right in front of us, there's a bunch of down trees and the leaves are all like red and like yellow and orange. And oh my goodness, it's giving me fall vibes, you guys. I don't know. Anyone else getting the fall vibes? I'm kind of ready for it. <laughs> fall kayaking. Oh my God, I can't wait for that. That's going to be amazing. So we just like baked up here on the edge of the, the lake here in the shade. Someone already busted out the beer, so I guess it's that time. <laughs> Alright, what you drinking, hon? Kona. Kona! Big wave. We're not in Hawaii. Maybe. <laughs> Wishing we were in Hawaii, but we'll see. I got my Kola Zivia. This is a really good summer beer. It's kind of light but darkish at the same time. Nice. The flavor's good. Yeah, he drinks a lot of Kona. Well, cheers, hon. Cheers. We finally did the pits. Great. So now we are crossing over into another one of the lakes here, a little channel that we go through. So this is lake number three we'll be hitting. <laughs> In the corner here, there's like all these like sand dune ish areas along the side. People are swimming and having a beautiful day. Moon pop up here. He's beautiful. Wow. We're just like baking in the sun. It's so hot, but it's like nice at the same time. So cool. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> It's like the last hurrah to get a tan in for the year because it cools down this week, so. Alright, so we're just getting back to the access here. So, this was absolutely amazing. It's so nice. Out there. It's so nice. It's so, very calm. And it's just the coolest stuff that you see in the water. Like, it's crazy. All the trees and the fish and everything is so cool. Our first mine lake. So, we did it. Beautiful. Definitely, if you were up in a Kayona country, definitely rent some kayaks, pedal boards, fish, whatever. Um, they do have rental places here in town that you can rent if you don't have your own so that's pretty cool to check that out so awesome this is great awesome so i just tracked to see how far we actually went and we went uh 1.6 miles one way so about 3.2 miles round trip is what we did i'll include a photo here of like where we went around the lake and where we kind of turned around so yeah it was kind of by the miners mountain area is where we turned around so we hit three legs and one paddle pretty cool <laughs> we're part of the minnesota passport program with the minnesota state park system um this is one place that you can get a stamp at so we're getting our stamp now so just a heads up for all of you to get the stamp it's actually not like by the state rock area you have to go to third street here 
to this building. I'll put the address right here. This is where you go get your passport stamp. So we gotta get our passport stamp. <laughs> and if you wanna learn more about getting these little passports from the Minnesota State Park System, I have an entire vlog all about it. So definitely go check out that vlog. So let's get our passport stamp. All right, here it is. All right, let's do it. There it is! Got nice! It. Stamp number three on the books. <laughs> So with that said, we are going to wrap up this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, of course, comment below. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys.